All right, guys, well, I'm back today with my go-to night vision monocular, the brand new Night Fox Cub. If you follow the channel, you'll know I love high value and budget products, especially high value and budget night vision. And this one really blows me away for the quality, the craftsmanship, and the price points of this entire setup. If you follow the channel as well, you know that I do a lot of digital night vision reviews and recently did a review on the cheapest night vision monocular on Amazon and it actually worked. This is going to be a tier above that. There's definitely a place for that ultra cheap night vision that works coming in at around $70. That's going to get people into that digital night vision, but obviously it's not going to be the best. Then there are some digital night vision binoculars that gives you a wide field of view, a large screen, but they are big, they're bulky, and they take up a lot of room. Now those are great for hunting and surveillance where you have a big backpack to put them in, but something like a hybrid, a digital night vision binocular, has been really hard to find. There are some that come in about twice the size as this as well as twice the price, so this is definitely a good hybrid between price and quality, and it is so easy to carry around, that is why it's become my go-to. The price on this guy comes in at about $160, $170, but I've got some coupon codes. Right now it's $20 off with a clickable code on the Amazon link in the description below. And Night Fox has also developed a coupon code specifically for my 704 Tactical viewers for the Night Fox Cub for 10% off. And then when all of those codes are together, this comes out to about 135 bucks, give or take a few dollars, depending on the exact pricing. That also includes free prime shipping. So for $135, this is a really awesome device. Some of the basic specs and features on this digital night vision device is the fact that it's a digital night vision device, so you'll be looking at an LCD screen once it turns on. Now what this means is when you're using something like this, you're going to need an IR emitter because this picks up IR light. So it can be used in pitch black, but you will be using the IR emitter that the naked eye doesn't see. It does throw a slight reddish hue right here, just a small faint reddish hue, but it's not really detectable, especially by animals if you're using this for some type of night vision surveillance over a field for hunting applications. So this push button design is very easy and intuitive to use. You simply turn on the night vision device and you can see the screen right there. What improves this over some of the smaller, cheaper digital ones is the screen is actually recessed back in here and it uses a lens system that you can put this eye cup right up against your eye and prevent the light from spilling over. Some of the other ones I reviewed that are a lot cheaper, again, they work, but they lack that feature. So you have to hold it away from your eye. Then the LCD screen shines on your face and it kind of gives away your position. This one conceals a little bit better. The screen on this guy actually comes in really nice and you can make out things a lot better than some of the other cheaper ones but again it's a very small screen compared to some of the digital night vision monoculars that you hold with both hands obviously you're going to be able to see better so it's a give and take application the ir controls are located up here and you can turn on that ir illumination and you can see it shines red right here now it looks like it's a blinding flashlight because the camera i'm using also picks up ir but you can see it barely emits and that is going to be again a lot more visible on this camera that we're using because it also picks up IR, but it's actually not that bad. So it's got different controls and modes of operation up here for that IR setting. It also has a record feature, which is pretty slick, and it actually comes with an SD card built in so you don't have to buy one. It's also USB rechargeable, so you can open this port right here, or you can actually flip this switch and have access to the rechargeable batteries located inside, the charging port, and the micro USB, so that is a pretty slick setup. And I love the way this interacts with your hands because it is so small, you can wrap your fingers over and learn the controls. It also has a focus up top, and you will have to focus this if you're using it 35 yards and you wanna zoom out to 100 yards, this is gonna work as well. But overall, guys, it's really lightweight. It also has a bipod mount if you wanted to set this up in some type of hunting application to look through and then quickly take your shot and transition over without setting this down. And it seems to be running really well. I've been running the same battery charge now for about seven nights in a row for five to 10 minutes at a time, and it works out great and it still has a ton of battery left. This works all the way out to about 200 yards, which again is better than some of those other cheaper digital night vision monoculars. But again, you're paying about 50 to $60 more for this, so I assume it should be better 
and it is better. When you download the images, the image quality is better. It captures at a better rate than the other ones. But again, a lesser rate than some of the larger digital night vision, so something to consider. I feel like though this is the perfect hybrid between size, price, and the ease of use to get you exactly what you need in a small compact set of night vision. Now I wanna click over real quick and kind of show you guys what it looks like looking down the night vision and what it records. So what you're looking at now is actually a service dealership and there are a lot of lights on, but actually most of it's pretty dark and I can't identify with the naked eye. But with the night vision, you can really make out everything as clear as day. It's really impressive on man-made structures. The other cool thing about this is I'm actually looking across a field now at about 150 yards and this is doing insanely well. You can also see as I track this car, it doesn't blind out with bright lights and it doesn't hurt anything and it instantly reactivates to kind of capture the little darker areas. Also up close at about 30, 35 yards, you can absolutely see through glass with the IR emitter going through and it makes out objects perfectly. This burn barrel is about 40 yards. So you can see how insanely well this works, especially up close 50 yards and in with man-made structures. You can pick out small bugs and even look through glass with that IR emitter. Even at 100 yards and 125 yards, you can easily make out things like the shop, especially man-made structures that reflect IR light a lot better. Then when you start doing to kind of nature scenes, looking at trees and fields, you're going to be able to pick things up out to about 200 yards before it starts getting a little bit fuzzy. But when you see deer or animals, the eye shine is very clear. You can easily make out what animal you're looking at in different hunting applications. In summary, this is definitely a winner. I can highly recommend it. It is more elevated than some I reviewed in the past, but again, it's a lot cheaper. Everything in this spectrum is going to be a give and take, but I really feel like Night Fox has nailed it with this night vision monocular. And if you have the extra money to spend, this is definitely worth it. I'm a huge fan of this, especially if you can click that clickable coupon code and use that code to get it for about 130 bucks or $135, you can't go wrong. All the information linking and this, uh, it will be in the description below. And this is an affiliate link, so if you decide you wanna purchase this, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. In fact, it just brings you right to the link where you can save yourself even more money. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.